Right, power steering on this Scania 450. Uh, it's wedged up there, look. Well, it's not wedged up there, it's up there, look. Need the air filter box off here. That drag link off, that needs to come off. Jack up the cab. Take the top uh, UJ off, steering UJ. Let's get on with the job. Yeah, there she is, look. In that little wedgie there. So this airbox needs to come off, so the wing needs to come off here. The wing needs to come off. So you can get to the mounting bolts, this airbox. Take it off there. It'll just come off here. And then you can actually get at it. So at the minute, she's a bit crammed in there. So we need to make some space. Fucking eight mil. Yeah, take this air box spart off. You've got a bolt there, look, that I've just took out, a little torx. Like a T25, I think it is. And then, it's not that one, I'm on. There's one there, look. Look. That fucking bolt there. Now we can see it. it. Right, I've took that load arm off, look there. I'm going to take the UJ off there, take them pipes off, I'm going to take that nut off, or take that split pin out, take the nut off. I'm going to crack that off and just leave it in the holder because it'll come out when I take the box out. So it won't get all the way out because it's it'll buff up the chassis bit there. And I've got to take that mounting bolt off, take that one off, and there's be another one. Oh, shit on it. Oh, look where that pissing thing is. I need dead lamp cover off now. Ugh. The joys. Oh, I've got to remove the headlight now. Mounting bolts up there, there, and there, and there. The headlight will come out, and then you just undo these here, and then the headlight comes out. But if you swing it out first, you can unplug it, and then take them off. Remove the headlamp. I don't know how you get this off now. I'm winging it. Uh, oh, there's two bolts there. Look. We'll remove them and then see what happens. Right, there's that bolt there a lot as well. And there's another one there. I've pulled this on and there's two more underneath here. That I've just took that. Billy, this is, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Now all that rammels off a lot. And two little dollies there. Beauties. Got a problem now, I can't fit my ball joint splitter in. Joint being a HGV I'm bored of it in that now, I'm going to take the mounting bolts off and then just like, leave one loose and then just see if it'll pull out a bit enough room for me to get me uh, ball joint splitter in hopefully it'll give me enough room that's the plan Stan anyway these are fucking big cumbersome things these are Can't believe that the fucking camera just dropped down just as we did my first hit with the hammer. Yeah, it popped out anyway. With that little bit of pressure. And then she popped out. Did you like that? We fucking did like that, Fred, we did. It was beautiful that was when it popped out. Now I've got to lift this big beast out. Haven't I? Right, I'm gonna have to get in there, aren't I? I'm gonna have to actually get in there because obviously it's fucking heavy. This is. I've got one bolt holding it. I've got a chisel in the old that side. So I'm hoping just to just to wing it, really, isn't it? 
I don't know where I'm going to put it though, once I'm in there and I go to off, where am I going to put it? I have to put it on the floor, but then my feet are on the floor. I have to lift it up on this wheel, kneel the wheel. Right, I best get in there, aren't I? I have to reach the bottom of the floor. You want Mowgli arms for that job? At least it's off anyway. Heavy fucker, isn't it? that was. It's going to be a cunt to get the new one up, isn't it? Hey, on me, Jack Jones. Oh, wow. Well. We like a good struggle. Don't we? We love a good struggle. I have to get out this little. Little crevice, I mean. I'm getting too old for this shit. Gun that nut off. Bear in mind it's got a mark on it, it should have somewhere. Yeah, that little line there. And a little recess there. There to there, look. They're just tab washers just knocked in, so we've just got the impact on it. it <laughs> Magic easing oil. Go on, work. Penetrate into it. I'm pissing in the wind, aren't I? But I like pissing in the wind. Yes, you fly! Right, and line, look, and line timing mark with drop arms. So there's the mark there, look. And the drop arm's got a mark on it. There, look. Put the nut on, impact the nut on, bar it up, and then hit the little tab locking washers over. Now for the fun bit, I gotta lift that bad boy into there by me and by myself. And it's heavy. I don't know how I'm gonna tackle this one. You know what I say, don't you? Just get on with it. Don't think about it too much, just get on with it. I'll use that to, uh, when I go in, I'll just put that in through the mount and through the holes. Just hold it quick, he says. I'm sweating already. The world's strongest thin man. <laughs> don't be a naughty power steering box now. Go to your home, it's your home! There, now I get in there and then I lift it in. Hmm. That's the plan anyway, Stan. Good job I'm so thin, isn't it? Yeah, plenty of room. Well, I've got to get on that drop arm as well. Right, maximum effort. Maximum effort. Turn, can I? Stupid man. It needs to come past me here, doesn't it? Right, try that again, maximum effort again. I don't know how to tackle it. Well, you need two, two people, really. I need another bolt. She's gone. I'll get all three started, just in a bit, and I'll pull the box out, put the drag link in. Beautiful, Bernard. Now we just do that thing in reverse order, don't we? I know what you're thinking. Oh, look at the size of that adjustable for that little knot. Overkill. I love being a mechanic. Bit good. Bit of fun job. Could be worse, could it? Could be sat behind a desk. Now I'll try and fit this freaking thing back in again. 
fits like a little snug as a bug in a little old rug. Excuse me. Can I have some bolts, please? I'm just after these bolts, please. For my billies. I need the billies. Please, sir, can I have some more billies? No. You've had enough bolts. Look at that, that's beautiful that is. Yeah. There is a keyway on these air filter boxes. Top foot there, look. There's the arrow as well, look. On the filter. On the air filter, there's an arrow. I think it's red line up with that peg, look. Hey, you never stop learning, do you? The key vein here. Clever twat. I don't know, piss all over. Yeah, top up the fluid. Keep the front axle jacked up and just lock it from side to side with the front axle with no weight on it to bleed the system through and then just keep checking your uh, level. That's it, really. Could be a winner with a chicken dinner. Uh, obviously filled it all, bled it all up from side to side, just jacked up the thingy, turned the steering from side to side, got it bled up. Went to take it for a test run and uh, and the EPS e, ESP light come on, the dash. Right up scan yeah, and he says yeah, it's because the steering wheel ain't in the same position. Because when I first did it, the steering wheel was just a little bit pissed up. So I uh, adjusted the steering wheel straight. It's only like a little bit like quarter of a turn out. It was pissed up. Well, scan you reckon that if you don't, it's got a sensor on the steering wheel. So if you move it at all, we're being off like. If you move it, it senses that it's not in the right place or something. So it puts this ESP on warning on the dash. So it needs to go to scan you now tomorrow and get it plugged in and get it to uh, recalibrate it again. Fucking ball ache, innit? Even on that, it's had no electrics on that box whatsoever. But it's still fucking picked up with a bastard fault. Jesus. <laughs>